All right, guys, we're back. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy CMB checking in here. Uh, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, guys, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that bell icon for post notifications when I drop new content. So let's get into this. Uh, we're talking about the narrative of Shakur Stevenson, the 135 pound WBC champion ducking Javante Tank Davis. I've been hearing that a lot here in the boxing space. And I kind of want to debunk all that uh, because honestly, I think we use that word ducking even when it's not warranted. I know we use it in certain situations when it's apparent, when it's a thing, but I think sometimes a lot of content creators just throw this word around because it's going to get them clicks and views. And this situation <laughs> with Javante Tate Davis and Shakur Stevenson, this, this doesn't have anything to do with a duck. First of all, how can Shakur Steven duck a guy who hasn't sent him a contract? How can he duck a guy who hasn't really called him out? And Shakur Stevenson signing a two-fight deal with Matchroom doesn't equal ducking Javante Tank Davis. That has more to do with, you know, maybe that made more sense for him financially. In all honesty, you know, we're not privy to what he's making. Uh, we don't know what's actually going on behind the scenes, but, you know, it could have been good for him. So I don't think this is a case of ducking with Shakur Stevenson. I think the issue with Shakur Stevenson is an image issue. It's an image issue. You know, I think he wants to fight Tank. Tank is, I would say, the Canelo Alvarez of the, the light divisions. Uh, that's going to be a lucrative fight. You're going to make money in that fight when you get in the ring with Tank. You know, who doesn't want that fight? I'm sure I'm sure Shakur wants that fight. But right now, his problem is his image. Let's face it. His last two fights, they were lackluster fights. You know, people are saying that he's boring. Uh, he has a problem with closing the show. He's a little bit too fensive, defensive for some people's taste. He, he's not, you know, he's, he's kind of you know, lazy with the jab and, you know, he's just predictable in the ring. So what he needs to do is repair his image. If he wants a Javante Tank Davis fight, I know he wants that fight, but, you know, it's got to be excitement behind that fight and he needs to show and prove. And I think he has an opportunity here at Matchroom, especially with his next fight with Joe Cardina. Give us a knockout. Put on a spectacular performance. Get people excited about Shakur Stevenson and Javante Tank Davis. That fight will come, but Shakur Stevenson has to show up. He has the skill set. There's no doubt in my mind that the kid has the skill set, but he has to execute. You know, he has to go out there. He has to take risk. He has to, you know, wow the crowd, I would say. So, no, I don't think he's ducking Javante Tank Davis. I think that's absolute BS. Uh, like I said, some of these larger channels, they're going to push that narrative because it's going to get them a lot of views. But I'm here to tell the truth and, you know, cut through the bullshit, <laughs> you know, cut through the bullshit. Just telling the truth. Right now, I am a j bigger Javante Tank Davis fan. I'm a big Javante Tank Davis fan. Some of you guys know that, but I don't feel that Shakur Stevenson is ducking Javante Tank Davis. I just think it's an issue of image and making itself, you know, more palatable to, to the boxing fan out here. You know, boxing fans are fickle. You know, some people don't like pure boxing. Some people like, you know, knockout artists. Some people like the Javante Tank Davis style. I like it all. I like it all because I know styles make fights. But casuals, you know what they want. They want knockout reels. They, they want every fight to be a knockout. If you're not knocking out people, uh, you're trash, you're garbage, which which isn't the case, which isn't the case. But this is the true case here. It's not ducking his image, and he needs to, like I said, wow the crowd. But anyway, you guys let me know what you think about Shakur Stevenson signing a two-fight deal with Matchroom. Do you believe he's ducking Javante Tank Davis, or do you think it's just a bunch of hogwash? You guys let me know in the comments section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.